Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that helps you figure out how to build your dream garage. And today we're going over my new toy for my garage. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So right behind me is my new 2020 Jeep Gladiator Launch Edition in Firecracker Red. I absolutely love this color. But let me talk about my other current toys in my garage. So if you go to gastax.com under my garage, you'll see all the different cars and toys and motorcycles that I have in my garage. And you'll see currently my daily driver is a 2017 F-150 Limited Edition and I lease most of my cars. And the reason for leasing most of my cars is because the tech inside changes so often nowadays, I always want the latest and greatest. So normally I do a 36 month lease. Now my F-150's lease is ending in September, but because I chose my next truck being the Gladiator, I decided to get this two months or three months early so I could enjoy the roof or features. So, as I mentioned, I drive the F-150 now. It's a full-size truck, it's great, I love it, it's massive inside, so why did I go for a mid-size truck? You know, you lose a lot of space inside. The trucks are nearly similar in width, if not, this might be bigger. Uh, length is a bit shorter. Uh, the bed on this is half a foot shorter than my Limited. Um, but the interior is really the main difference as far as space. I love the F-150 space, but I also love the Jeep Gladiator's features. The other truck that was up in the running was the new 2020 Ram 1500. And the reason that was because the tech was just updated, there's tons of storage in there, and I love the new look. And I would have got that if I wasn't worried about the top-down features and I would have just waited until September. The reason I didn't stick with Ford is not because I hate Ford, it's because the new F-150 is coming out and I don't actually know when it's coming out. So I decided to jump the gun and get the Rubicon so I can enjoy this summer with the roof down um, and I know it's a bit ahead of my lease, but that way I can reset my lease schedule to the beginning of summer for next time when this ends. So let's jump into the reasons that made me choose the Jeep Gladiator. Well, firstly, as I mentioned, I love the roof down features. If you also saw on my website under my garage, I have a bunch of motorcycles. I personally love the open air feeling of motorcycles, but one thing I can't do with that is take my family. So <laughs> I have two kids and a wife and a dog. Unfortunately, there's no motorcycle big enough for that. And I definitely love that open air feeling. So the Jeep Gladiator was definitely chosen so I could enjoy this summer with my family. The second reason I got the Jeep Gladiator is because it's a truck. I wanted a truck, I definitely need a truck. I use the bed of my truck every day for whatever. You, you don't know what you need a truck for until you have one, and then if you have one, you don't know why you didn't have one sooner. If you own a truck, you know that feeling. So I needed a truck um, for many things, and one of them is to put my motorcycles in the back. As I mentioned, I love motorcycles and the open air feeling. One thing I always get to do, at least once or twice a year, is do a big off-roading trip on my 2006 DR650. There's a trip called the Trans-Wisconsin Adventure Trail that runs from Illinois all the way to Lake Superior. And I try to do that once or twice a year. I don't normally drive my motorcycle to the, to the trail. I'll normally put them in the back of my truck leave my truck somewhere and then do the, the adventure trail and then put it back in there. So I needed a truck for that. Also getting into the off-roading, I love the DR650 off-roading. So what's better than loading the bikes up in the back and then actually going off-roading in the Jeep. And when we want to change of scenery, we can unload the bikes and do off-roading on the bikes. So I think it's the best of two worlds. Get one of the most capable off-road pickup trucks out there. That can also bring my off-roading bikes. The next reason I got the Jeep Gladiator was because it is the launch edition. 
If you guys know anything about Jeep and how the launch edition came to, uh, you'll know the Jeep really screwed up. So back in April 2019, they pre-sold 4,190 launch editions because people wanted to be the first people to get it. And this is one of them. So how did I get one? I didn't pre-order one a year ago. What actually happened is Jeep pre-sold 4,190 in 24 hours. And then without delivering these, they started delivering other Gladiators, fully loaded ones, to dealerships. So the loyal fan base that actually ordered the Jeep Gladiator first didn't get it first. So everyone ended up canceling their Jeep Gladiator launch editions. So fortunately for me, um, I was able to pick it up. Now, why did I want the launch edition? Couple things. If you saw my website, I only like buying limited edition things. It's just something in me. I don't know why my boat's are limited, my truck's are limited, um, my R8's limited, <laughs> my motorcycle's limited. I like limited edition stuff. So I had the opportunity to get the limited edition uh, launch edition. There's really no gain in it. Uh, it did have the leather wrapped dashboard, which I, I like better than the plastic. But I thought that was a cool little thing to keep my obsession of having a limited car always. So some people may think that limited edition stuff is stupid. I don't disagree, but <laughs> if I can do it, I may as well do it. So those are the main reasons I chose the Jeep Gladiator. So I've only put about 150 miles on it right now. I've only had it for three days, but let's take it for a ride and see how it drives. So here we are driving the 2020 Jeep Gladiator. I know I'm not the first review out there. I'm not reviewing. I'm really just showing you my experience. To me, it drives perfect. Um, today, I did just watch the Savage Geese review of the Mojave version of the Gladiator, and they were saying that one is the best uh, for your road comfort. Um, really, I drive everything. I have a supercar to a truck to a SUV. I've never really had a problem with how things drive. Uh, so that's never on the top of my mind, but I do think this is a comfy drive. Um, as far as the cab space, well, that is a sacrifice I'm giving up from my F-150. Uh, as you guys can tell, I'm on the plus size of people. Some would even go to the point of saying, use my garage obsession to find a gym. And with that, I would say you are correct. I just prefer the garage to the gym but let's jump back into the interior space it is a lot narrower than the f-150 i do believe the cars are very similar in width but because the cab sits within the tires of the gladiator compared to the f-150 where they actually fill up the width of the car you do lose on that space just in the center armrest on the f-150 i would say it might be three times as wide, two to three times as wide as this armrest. So that is a sacrifice. Um, what are the other things I sacrifice with going to the Jeep Gladiator? Well, the back seat space, the back seats fold up, uh, which I need for my dog. And these ones also fold up, except when they fold up, there's a huge storage con uh, compartment back there. I did remove it, um, but then it's just not, un it's unfinished under there and it looked bad. So I actually put it back and the only way I can fit my dog in now is if I put my front seat all the way forward or the passenger front seat all the way forward and then the seats up and then he can sit back there in the footwell. So that is a sacrifice, uh, mainly for him, but <laughs> I guess sucks to be him. <laughs> but. Uh, it actually works fine. He'll get used to it. The other thing is the towing capacity. My F-150, I believe, can tow about 11,500 pounds. This is only 7,000 pounds. But in the three years I've had my F-150, I've only towed what I currently have, which I mentioned before, my boat and my car trailer. So I don't think there's a problem there. The bed size is uh, half a foot shorter and then definitely narrower and then definitely uh, lower or less deep. And to me, 
it's not a problem. I need the bed for the utility of it, not for the capacity of it. So I'm not really sacrificing there either. So uh, that's where the sacrifices are. Now let's talk about the gains. Well, the gains, I can take the roof off here. I could take the doors off. I can off-road this baby. It has off-road capabilities that the Ford doesn't have. The one thing my Ford came with is summertime Pirelli tires, which I never put winter tires on there. And that thing is scary in the winter. So much so that I actually cracked the rim because I slid off the road. So I don't think that will happen here. Yes, simple fix, could put winter tires on there. But 22 inch winter tires for a truck uh, are not cheap. So what other gains do I have from getting the Jeep Gladiator? Well, look, it's gonna be a great family summer car with being able to take the roof off. That's one thing I want. I also dropped the windshield, a windscreen. I do believe I will leave it down most of the summer as long as it's a warm weather and I can get that motorcycle sensation while also being with my family. So overall, I'm very pleased so far. I only have 150 miles in the truck now, but hopefully I'll have some fun this summer. So there you have it guys, that is my new 2020 Jeep Gladiator launch edition. I don't know exactly what content this will bring to the channel, especially now what's happening in the world, but hopefully when everything slowly opens up, I'll be able to take my motorcycle in the back there and go on some off-roading camping adventures. So if you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and let me know in the comments below what you would like to see me do with the Jeep Gladiator. So until then, Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you then.